What's up guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to talk about a short film Toho just released for their Godzilla series. This is the new battle pitting the King of the Monsters up against a new threat named Gigan Rex. Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex is a 2022 short film released officially by Toho, the company responsible for the original Godzilla series that dates back to 1954. The movie was written and directed by Takayuki Uniishi and acts as a sequel to his fan film from 2019 called G vs. G. So yeah, it looks like Toho was so impressed by his work on an unofficial project in a contest that they went ahead and professionally made the follow-up, which I think is pretty cool. Now, the backstory into this project is that it basically acts as a continuation of something that was just very short and having Godzilla go up against a whole bunch of different Gigans. That is of course followed up in the sequel with the leader of those Gigans being revealed as some sort of big red monster that we haven't really seen before and it's got a lot of unique weaponry and abilities that I think a lot of fans will enjoy. Now Toho's actually been doing stuff like this for a while. I talked about recently the Godzilla vs. Hedorah short film that they released a while back and I really thought that was cool because it was the company bringing back suit special special effects with a Godzilla movie in miniatures and it worked out really really well. It was authentic to the Showa era and it was fun to see sort of like a deleted scene from Godzilla Final Wars. This movie seems to take a lot more inspiration from the Heisei series both musically and with the imagery that they're displaying on scene. I don't know if I'd go as far to say that it's an actual continuation of Godzilla vs. Destroya but you do see a lot of power-ups, sound effects, again music and basically visual iconography that harkens back to the Heisei era. You've got Godzilla with a double row of teeth, you've got the whole silhouette behind the fog that you had at the end of Godzilla vs. Destroya, and then on top of that, you've even got a lot of the nuclear bursts that come from his body and out of the back of his spines in the short. It was really well done and does feel like a continuation of that movie. Now, I've gone on record before to say that the original Godzilla vs. Gigan is actually a fun little Showa era Godzilla movie. I know I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the Jun Fukuda movies, but that one is a little darker and pretty fun in its own right. This is all CGI. There's no suits. It's completely made in the computer. And like I said, not only the Heisei influence is apparent throughout, but what you basically get here is an update on the kind of Godzilla battles that Toho used to do with modern sensibilities. It starts off with jets firing missiles at a random Gigan. A couple of other Gigans show up. Godzilla kills a few of them. And then we get the reveal of the ultimate big bad Gigan Rex, which is introduced in this thing. I like the final battle sequence a lot, and it reminded me more of Iris, oddly enough, from Gamera 3 in the Heisei era, uh, which I thought was cool. I don't know if you guys have seen those movies or not, but all three of the Gamera movies are pretty cool because they kind of progressively got better and better, and a lot of people think they were actually giving Godzilla a run for his money in the 90s. I haven't talked about those yet because, believe it or not, I've actually never seen any other Gamera movie ever. I've only seen the ones in the Heisei era, but I'll I'll get to those someday. As for Gigan Rex, you get a giant red Gigan equipped with some sort of chainsaw-like abilities that are similar to what we saw in Godzilla Final Wars, and a whole bunch of like power-up moves that do resemble the third Gamera film, which I thought was kind of fun. And look, while this is not as good as the Hedora short, I personally think it's still very well done and fun. It offers up a new monster for the Godzilla series, and Toho is really doing a great job bringing these people on to work on these projects that really do care about the source material. I know that Takayuki worked on Shin Godzilla a little bit, which you can kind of see that influence in this Godzilla that they have on screen. I really do like his design, by the way, because he reminds me of a mix of what we saw in the later Heisei movies, as well as the Shin Godzilla look. Personally, I'm interested in seeing more of this stuff from the studio, and I really think that Godzilla vs. Gigan Rex is a cool little addition to the film series, even if it's not an official continuation of Godzilla vs. Destroya. It might be, but what I know for certain is it is definitely a good addition to the Godzilla franchise as a whole, and it's cool to see stuff like this made. No human BS, no crazy monsterverse complaining weird dialogue. It's just a five minute Godzilla battle. What more could you ask for? Anyways guys, these are all just my own thoughts on the brand new film. You can find it here on YouTube pretty easily and I'd love to hear what you guys have to think about it after you see it for yourselves. And once you do, I'd love to know what all of your thoughts and opinions are on the short in the comments down below.